Hi friends, Christopher here. In this session, we're going to cover a question that we get in the field all the time. And that's how to set up back button focus on our cameras. So I'll define what it is, go over the benefits, and finally we'll dive into the menu to show you how to set it up. Back button focus is when you strip autofocus from the shutter button and assign that role somewhere else on the camera, typically a function button on the back of it. And so now the shutter button's only role is to engage the shutter, basically take the picture. And so with this dual control, it offers an alternative method in order to control autofocus and works especially well in continuous autofocus. So if you're following a subject and that subject goes behind an obstacle, you can release the back button, continue to take pictures, then re-engage autofocus when you need it, say when the subject comes from behind the obstacle. Also, this is going to reduce shutter lag. The shutter button no longer has to confirm autofocus, so as soon as you press that shutter, it's going to take the picture. And finally, it gives you the opportunity to initiate autofocus only when you need it. So if you've locked on your target and your target isn't moving, there's no need to initiate autofocus every single time. And so the best thing is that it's going to work in every single autofocus mode. It works in autofocus continuous, autofocus single, and even in manual focus, and I like to set up my camera that way. And so it gives me the opportunity, if I'm in a bind and I need to get autofocus really quickly, I can hit that back button, and then finally I can rotate the manual focus ring on my lens and still have that control. Now that we have a general understanding of what back button focus is and the benefits of it, let's go to setting it up on our camera. So this is going to be a one or two stage process, depending on what camera that you have. If you have one of our cameras that have an AF on button, like the GFX 100S or the X-T4, there's no need to set another function button for AF on, unless you don't like its placement. If you own one of our cameras like the X-Pro3 or the X-E4, these don't have a dedicated AF on button, so we're going to have to set some button on the camera for AF on. So let's go into the menu. Menu OK. We're going to go down to the wrench, button dial setting, and finally, function setting. This is going to bring up all the function buttons on our cameras. There is a shortcut to this. If you hold the display back button for three seconds in record mode, this is going to instantly get you to the function buttons. Now we can choose whatever button we want, set it for AF on, not AFL, these are two different things. AF on is going to initiate autofocus, while AFL or AF lock is going to lock focus at a specific distance. Now that we've set that, the second step is going to be stripping autofocus from the shutter button. So within the same button dial setting menu, you're going to see shutter AF. You should see two options within this menu. AFS and AFC. This gives you the ability to strip autofocus from the shutter button depending on what focus mode that you're in. So for me, I like using shutter button autofocus when I'm in AFS. But as soon as I switch to continuous autofocus, I prefer back button autofocus. Now keep in mind, the function button that we set up for AF on is still going to initiate autofocus regardless of what we set in here. So when I'm shooting AFS, I technically have two buttons that will initiate autofocus. This doesn't bother me, I just know the placement. So I hope this was helpful for you. Stay tuned in the upcoming weeks for more episodes. Take care, you have a great one.